1999, WYS produced a special for HGTV based on the beloved book New Orleans Elegance and Decadence by Richard Sexton and Randy Delahanty. We profiled five homeowners who were featured in the book, and Mario Villa was one of them. Here's a feature on Mario from the show. He was then living in a house on Moss Street alongside Bayou St. John. The New York Times once compared Mario Villa's home to a setting for an opera. The early 19th century cottage is located on a picturesque body of water named Bayou St. John in the mid-city neighborhood of New Orleans. Villa has lived here for 12 years. Outside, there's little hint of the opulence within what is essentially a modest dwelling of eight small to medium rooms. I want people when they come to the, ro to, to the door to surprise themselves and, you know, a little, little house can be a beautiful house if you put love in it. It is the parlor that's truly a standout. Since I was close to the water here, we have the, the bayou in front of us and I saw the Grand uh, Canal in Venice. So I want this feeling of this room to be an old Venetian palazzo running down. Villa has furnished his home with 18th and 19th century works of art, much of it from Italy and France. His passion for collecting beautiful things came at a very early age. My father chose my, a very famous painter uh, to become my godfather, and he gave me uh, the, best, the first painting when I was born. My father said, that make me into a collector. He said, and the first words I have around my mouth was, was in mommy or daddy, was I want that. Via's diverse collection also includes art from Latin America. A fanciful chair by Mexican artist Pedro Friedeberg. Works by Matisse. And only occasionally Via's own creations. The piece uh, underneath the, another of the room in tapestry, you know, in the living room, uh, is celebrate life. It's like a New Orleans carnival parade, or it's a parade coming into New Orleans, celebrating life, you know, there's horses, and this, this beautiful woman's dancing on top of the horses, that kind of festivity day. It's very important to Via to provide the proper setting for what he has accumulated over the years. To create the move around this house, uh, a very special uh, uh, effect, we use museum lighting. Uh, then there are laser beam lighting, uh, low voltage. What the light does, it creates an uh, ambience when, because they don't produce any light glare the light will shine until it hit the object, giving that object a magical touch. Villa had to use some decorating magic of his own after realizing that the wallpaper in the library was glued to the plaster and too costly to remove. He painted over the existing wallpaper to resemble an almost marbleized pattern. In the master bedroom are other examples of Mario Villa's own work, including the bed. With a style that is also influenced by ancient classical designs, Via's rendition of a personal computer storage unit is impressive. In this room, he decided to scrape the walls until they were bare. Those efforts received rather mixed reviews from one family member. My mother called it the, uh, the uh, poverty room because it looked like a run-down place. Uh, I love it. Uh, the, the feeling of the room is you have a lot of patina. In the master bathroom, Via created the wall treatments using a swag pattern based on an ancient Roman design. So I took, I took that motif and, and uh, deep uh, old canvas in, in, in plaster and, and did the room with that effect to, to make it look very old, to, to give the room a feeling because that room was all for mica and plastic. In the guest bathroom, Via continued the Roman theme by using one of his sculptures as a fountain over the wash basin. But his favorite room in the house is actually outside. Located in the side yard with a great view of the bayou is a porch or terrace. I love to sit there because I feel like a little, little, I don't know, bayou man uh, sitting in a terrace overlooking at the water. Outside and inside, Via's taste reflects a variety of styles. Don't be afraid of mixing uh, different periods of art and furniture. You know, if they are, if they are chosen by, by you and you have taste, everything will kind of mix together.
Doug, a final word? Just that in addition to being an artist and designer, he also was a gallery owner and introduced a lot of uh, the next generation of uh, young contemporary artists. So yeah. there you go. Thank you so much.